Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can actually watch live over the air TV on an iPad or on an iPhone or on an Android device. You pick it, but we're going to really kind of just stick with the iPad and iOS in this situation. We'll dabble a little bit with the Android as well. So, if you're a cord cutter, cable cutter, whatever you want to call it, where you're wanting to get rid of your high cable bills, whether it be a dish or just be a, like your coaxial cable, then this is a great solution for you and we're going to show you how you can make it mobile as well so you can watch your live TV anywhere in the world where you've got internet. And it's just going to be whatever is across the broadcast airwaves in your neck of the woods. Cool, cool stuff. All right, so the one thing, the key component of this, you're going to have to get an HD Home Run Connect right here. That's what it is. This has two tuners, and it'll allow you to pick free broadcast TV, HD, mind you, broadcast TV, and put it across the, your network in your home. Okay? So how cool is that? Any smart TV that you have on that network as long as you can have an HD Home Run app installed on it, which most of them see it just as like a local thing on the network anyway, you don't even have to install an app, it just shows it as a source, all you got to do is select it and you can watch live TV. Now, that's really cool, we're not going to get into the smart TVs or anything like that, we're going to show you how to do it on an iPad and an Android device, and we're going to add a little VPN flare in there so you can show, I can show you how to do it anywhere in the world connect back to your home via your private VPN and watch TV through this bad boy. Pretty cool? Alright, so first thing is why do I need an HD Home Run Connect? Okay, you need this and you need an HD antenna. Okay, those are pretty cheap. I'll show you the one I got. I got it for like 20 bucks and it works just perfect. Okay, so you take this and we'll go up and we'll do a quick little demonstration because I actually have it connected directly into my router which is actually upstairs in my home. Okay, plug in the antenna to the back of this and that brings in all the OTA channels that you need. Okay, and then streams them across your network. So you can get anything on your network and with the app, watch live TV. And this isn't just like crap TV, this is HD and it is work very well. There's very little latency. Now, of course, all this is going to depend on the bandwidth on your network. You know, if you got a lot of traffic at home and if you're doing it on Wi-Fi. Uh, I do it on Wi-Fi. It works perfectly fine. And I've got webcams and all sorts of stuff. So I don't have a problem. So it seems to optimize it and compress it and do a very good job of streaming this. So it says cut the cable, cut the subscription costs. Watch live HDTV on up to two devices simultaneously on your wired network. Two devices, two tuners. You can watch two different things on two different devices. Very key point. Works with all popular PC DVR software, so you can watch, pause, and record. If you're into the new Plex, they have a DVR function. You can record live TV on a PC. So you can also use a DVR kind of effect, and there's other software out there as well that will allow you to do that. So you can record live TV and come back and watch it. Watch many great primetime broadcast channels from your favorite networks. HD Home Run is DLNA compatible and streams over UPnP. TV antenna required key point because this isn't going to get anything unless you put an antenna on it. There's a little bit. There's the Home Run Connect, the Home Run Extend, and the Home Run Prime. Home Run Connect does not require cable. Okay, Receives digital cable subscription TV. That's the Home Run Prime. Uh, the Home Run Extend also does not require a cable. At least a, re a, t a digital cable TV subscription. So those are two options. The Home Run Extended Connect will be featuring the Connect here again. Uh, and here you go. Here's the, here's the setup. You get the Home Run box, put the antenna on it, connect it to your router, and it streams to any devices you have on the network, even the Xbox One. I have done that on the Xbox One. Works perfect. Good stuff. Okay. This is from Silicon Dust. I will have a link in the show notes to where you can pick this up. All right, we're going to take a field trip. We're going to go up, we're going to go to my router, and I'm going to show you how it is connected, what it looks like, 
and then we'll come back down and we're going to show you the goodness that this thing produces. All right, pause the video, we'll be right back. All right, there you go. There is the HD Home Run Connect connected directly into my router, as you can see right there. Uh, so this is pretty much all you gotta do is plug it into an AC outlet and plug it into a ethernet port on your router. The antenna via coax runs up here, as you can see, I have it up here. And this is a clear one, so it doesn't really, you know, look too terrible. You can see a little bit of the antenna in there, but otherwise you just see the wall behind it because it's clear. And this antenna costs about $25, $30. I'll have a link in the show notes, and it does a great job. All right, let's go back to the iPad and watching live TV. All right, guys, welcome back. So we are on the iPad, and just to show you, I am on my home network where it says Netgear Dual Band In. That is my router upstairs that the HD Connect is connected to, okay? So at home, this is how it's gonna work. You're gonna launch an app that you do have to purchase in the App Store, for iOS, that is, and it's called Channels, okay? So we're gonna launch Channels, and it's gonna say no tuners detected, but we can like scan the network for tuners. Now, if it does not find anything, you can manually add it, but most of the time it's gonna find it. Now down here, I don't have a great Wi-Fi connection, so I'm gonna add the tuner manually. I happen to know his address is 10. Dot zero, dot zero, dot ten. All right. Now you can see it sees the sees the the scanner or the the connect. I can go to my guide, and there we go. All the stations that are on the network. So if I wanted to watch live football, I can come down here. I can click on one of my local television stations, and we can get live football, and hopefully in good quality. There we go. CBS Sports presents the Verizon Halftime Report. That not only looks great, but works great. I'm going to dim the lights just a little bit. You can see that screen, HD quality, looks beautiful. Now I just paused live TV too. I can pick it back up. And welcome back to our New York studio and the Verizon Halftime. There you go. I can actually pause live TV. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume down. I'm gonna get out my iPhone 7 here. And it is also on the network, so I'm gonna launch this exact same app on the iPhone 7. And hopefully it'll see it without having to manually add it. Okay, it does. So I'll hit guide. So I'm going to go ahead and select NFL football. See if this is a, yeah, so this is a little different. So we're going to go ahead and put this one down here. I'm going to zoom out so you can see this. And we're going to go ahead and hit the NFL football here. We're going to say watch now. And you should see two different shows. Oh, same show. So let's go ahead and change this. Let's go ahead and change it to a different station. And we can get another football one in here. Let's see. So this is just like if I get two football running here, this will be just like the NFL Sunday ticket or something. So let's see. We're scrolling here. Well, here's some college football. Let's see what this is. So you'll at least see two different stations here playing. There we go. So you got like some kind of commercial here running, and I got TV running here. I'm on two different stations at the same time, so the two tuners are in use. I got one station running over here and one station running over here across the network, and it works great. So you can see there is no lag, there is no pause. It has great quality video, and this is live TV on an iPad and an iPhone with the app channels. And I'll have a link in the show notes to that as well. So. Let's go ahead and show you what all you can see here. So you can see you get a nice guide. You can actually scroll the guide to see what's coming up. I have about 40 something, maybe 50, close to 50 channels that are over the air. So you can see here, Chef at Home, all sorts of stuff. If I want information, if I click on it, it gives me a little synopsis of the uh, show, much like a guide would for like, um, 
a cable box or something. There you can see a little bit of information about the show. And then if I just want to, I can hit watch now. Now, obviously, I've forwarded, so I cannot watch this one right now. I'm just kind of looking into the future to see what's on. So if I go ahead and go back, I can actually click silver here and say watch now if I wanted to watch it. Or sliver, sorry. So live TV on the iPad. Here it is on the iPhone. We still got that channel running, so we're doing all that, and this is running in the background. How cool is that? to watch over the air TV on the iPad. You can, it doesn't get much better than that. All free, just HD signal out there waiting to be grabbed for the goodness. Now, now I mentioned, uh, I wanted to show you how to do this remotely. So you have to have a VPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, a virtual private network, you have to have something at home that's gonna run a VPN. Your router might be able to do it. That's what I'm gonna use here. My router has a natural VPN service built into it. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, I have a Synology NAS. It has a VPN service as well. I could use that. Or I could download and install a VPN solution on a Mac or on a Windows PC and run it there and connect to it. So all you gotta do is know what VPN you wanna use and go from that. So we're gonna use OpenVPN. So if I go into OpenVPN, now first off, I want to get off the home network, okay? So let's go ahead and just going to get, turn off Wi-Fi altogether. That way you can see, well, I'm not going to turn off Wi-Fi. I'm actually going to stream. So I'm going to come up to my Verizon Wireless, my phone here. We're going to start a hotspot just to show you. So we're going to go mobile hotspot tethering. We're going to turn this on. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and connect. We should see a mobile hotspot show up in here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Do we see the hotspot yet? Let's go back out. Oh, there it is. Verizon SM. So we're joining the hotspot. And I'll show you here. We should see something join here. There it is. There's my iPad. So I'm connected to my mobile hotspot. So now I'm no longer on the network. I'm actually using a Verizon hotspot. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and connect VPN. I'm going to come in here to my VPN in my iPad. I'm going to turn it on. And hopefully it'll come up and say somewhere up here that we're on a VPN. So it should be attempting to connect to my router's VPN service. There we go. How do I know it's connected? Up in the top left corner, if I zoom in here, zoom in, focus, you should see a VPN. All right, so I'm outside my network, say I'm at a cop shop or on somebody else's Wi-Fi or I'm just out there on this hot spot, okay? I am now really on my home network because I have a virtual private network into it. So now if I minimize this and I go to my channels app, boom. It should still see the tuner because technically I am on that network. All right, there we go. So see, I now see the, the network. Now I'm not gonna have a very con good connection down here, I'll tell you, but like if I click on the love bloat and I click watch now, it should attempt, this isn't gonna be the best of quality because I'm downstairs with bad, qual uh, bad signal, but I'm watching live TV, over the air live TV in a remote location through a VPN on an iPad. How cool is that? All right. Anywhere in the world where I got decent quality signal, I can watch my live TV from my home. And this is just stuff that's local. I can watch my local news in Europe. I can watch my local news in another state, in another country. How cool is that? Same on the iPhone, VPN in. Use it on your iPhone if you wanted to. You don't have to do it on an iPad. You can do it on an iPhone. Now, I also wanted to show you on an Android device what it would take. So you should have an app called HD Home Run. Now this one's free, okay? So you can download the HD Home Run app. We'll retry, see if we can find the tuner. Make sure we're on the network. And oh, this wants an update. Let's see if our Wi-Fi is on the network. We are on the network, so let's see. 
if I can just manually add the tuner. Yeah, for some reason the HD Home Run app is not actually seeing my tuner right now, but it should technically. There it is. It's it's working. Like I said, I got bad signal down here, so uh, the application I've used that HD Home Run, yeah. Okay, maybe it's not seeing my tuner down here. Again, I got bad signal, but this is a free app. You can install this on Android. This is not available on iOS. And watch this on an Android device. Xbox has it as well, so if you wanted to install it on your Xbox One, you could do that. Uh, and watch live TV on your Xbox through this HD Home Run Connect. So, lots of good things. Uh, mainly, I just wanted to point out on this show how to do it on an iPad, and we're going to go ahead and turn our mobile hotspot off. Okay. Again, there we were, watching live TV on the iPad, uh, through VPN, and also on the local network, with great quality, with no problems whatsoever. I'll link in the show notes a little bit of description for everything that we have here and how to do it. This is pretty cool. And definitely, if you're a cord cutter, cable cutter, whatever, this is a great solution for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.